welcome everyone to the Inverted Wander. Today for the Inverted Tip Tuesday, I'm going to be leading us through a 10 minute uh, shoulder strengthening workout. So as part of inversions, um, you are primarily using your upper body limbs. So it's very important that you strengthen and stretch these limbs so that your inversions can be the best versions uh, that they can be. So today will be a 10 minute sequence. Um, we're gonna go through, I'm gonna have a timer here to help us through it. And I hope that you enjoy it. If you see my cats in the background, just kind of ignore them. I'm home for the holidays. Okay, so we're gonna be going through some warm-ups, some strengthening, and some, some cool down. So a part of strengthening is also going to be opening up the upper body area. So um, some chest openers is what we call them in the yoga world. So first we're gonna start with some shoulder rolls. So let me get myself situated. Okay, so shoulder rolls. Let's go ahead and bring our hands and start to roll our shoulders back. Rolling them back, going as slow or as fast as you need. I'll let you know when to switch directions. So we'll be doing about one minute each of each exercise. If there's two directions, then we'll be doing 30 seconds of each. So get ready to switch, go ahead and stop and then roll in the opposite direction. Try and isolate just the shoulders. I know it's hard because our arms are attached, our heads are, we make sure that we're relaxing our neck, but rolling our shoulders. Remember, you can go as slow or as fast. We're just waking up our shoulders before we start to strengthen them. Don't forget to keep breathing. Okay, go ahead and shake it out. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some um, arm circles. So for the arm circles, make sure to focus on moving the shoulders, not the arms. So hands out, and then roll our shoulders back, down, up, back, down, up. So really start to use that scapula, use your upper back. Your arms should stay relatively um, Still, of course, they are still attached, so they are going to move. But rolling just our, our shoulders now with our arms out to the side. And you're gonna start to feel the heat building in this. Go ahead and stop. Rotate the opposite way. Keep breathing. I know it burns. It's only 10 minutes. You can do it. Ooh, this one's a little bit harder for me. Again, try and make it just the shoulders. So this is also really good for anyone that has uh, shoulder pain. Usually shoulder pain is a lack of strength or exercise. So let's make sure to keep that going. Okay, go ahead and shake that out. Now we're going to be doing shark fins. So I'll go ahead and sit on the side so that you can see this. You wanna make sure that your upper body stays very still and it's just your arms. So placing your arms together and then tapping back, keeping your chest where it's at. So avoid pushing your chest forward. Make sure that your gaze is in line with the horizon. Going as slow or as fast as you'd like. Turning the core on to keep your body and your chest where it's at really pressing into your hands to start to turn on your back as we're also stretching it. This is a good uh, prep pose for a forearm stand. It gets our upper body in the right alignment. Whew, I can already feel my shoulders burning. We're almost there. Okay, go ahead and shake it out. Now we're gonna go ahead and set up for some for holding on the hatasana. So if you want to bring any blocks or you just want to do the the version that I'm gonna do, then you can go ahead and do that. But if you'd like to put your hands up and on any blocks, you're welcome to do that as well. 
So let me set my timer. All right, we're starting on our hands and knees. Get, keep your hips over your knees. Walk your hands out. Make sure to keep your elbows lifted, hands pressing down, forehead down if that feels comfortable. You can curl your back toes for more stability or you can uncurl them. Your preference, make sure to keep your hips over. You can do some gentle rocking side to side. This is just a really good chest opener. You can always drop down to your chin, going a little bit deeper if you'd like. Make sure to keep breathing. Find that openness in your upper body. If you need movement, I recommend tapping one elbow and then the other. Remember, you can always place blocks underneath your hands as well, or even underneath your head if you find that you have a very tight chest. And keep breathing. And slowly walk and bring your hands back to a tabletop position. And now we're gonna go ahead and get into our strengthening poses. So we opened up, we should feel a little bit more loose in our shoulders. And now let's go ahead and start with some scapula push-ups. So you can either remain on your knees or in a full push-up, so either half or full. Go ahead and scapula push-ups, we keep our, our arms nice and straight and we just lower our scapula, the upper body. So you can see that my hands are very straight, tailbone is tucked down, and I'm pushing just my scapula. I'm using just my upper body. My arms are nice and straight, sacking my hands underneath my shoulders. Woo! If you weren't feeling those shoulders before, you'll definitely feel them now. So it's important to make sure that we've got a strong upper back before we do any inversions. 20 more seconds. Remember, you can always drop to your knees. It's a little less intense for beginners, but you're still gonna work out in your upper body. Shake that out. Hopefully you feel your scapula, your upper back. Now we're gonna go into some toe to wrist taps for about a minute. This is a really good prep for getting ready for a handstand. So we'll go ahead and stand up. Start our timer. Pressing down into our hands, we're gonna lift our toes to our wrist while keeping our hands on the ground. So pushing down, lifting our upper back. This also uses core and hip flexors. Gaze is down in between your hands, alternating feet. It's a small movement. You may find that you rock side to side. A little rocking side to side is okay. Really pressing down, getting our toes to touch our wrist or as close as we can. Woo. Let's keep going. We're almost there. Keep it going. Feel the burn. It's your body working and moving. Remember, if it's too much, you can stop at any time. You can use your ujjayi breathing. Woo. When we're ready, go ahead. Shake out our wrists if we need to. Now we're going to be setting up for some plank and some um, plank and side plank. Okay, so we're not gonna hold plank, we're gonna hold side plank 30 seconds for each side. So give me a quick break. And let's go ahead, come up into our plank, coming onto our right side. So if this is new to you, you can always place that bottom knee down, lifting up out of the shoulders. So make sure that you're not sinking, but lifting, either staying here in half. You can extend both legs. If you wanna challenge yourself even more, you can lift the top leg, start to use your core. But this is shoulder and core work. Get ready to switch into the other side. 
down through plank onto the left side, lift the right arm, lift the right hip. If you need to, you can bring the knee down for stability. Challenge yourself, you can lift both feet, keep your hips lifted using your core. You can lift that top leg if that feels good for you. Gaze is down at the floor, out of the horizon, or if you want to challenge yourself, you can look up towards the sky. Squeeze your core, keep pressing the ground away from you. Almost there. Almost done. And coming down, shaking out our arms. Whew. Setting up for our last strengthening before our cool down. So we're gonna do some dolphin to forearm plank walkouts. I've got a previous video if this is your first time doing it because I'm just going to jump right into it. So maybe pause, go and watch that and then come back. Otherwise, let's get set up in plank pose. Or, I'm sorry, dolphin pose, lifting our hips, forearms pressing down. Walk down, hold, five, four, three, two, one. Walk back up to dolphin, five, four, three, two, one, make sure we're pressing the ground away from us. Don't let it scrunch in your neck. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift your hips up into the dolphin. Gaze is in between the arms, pressing the forearms. Three, two, one. Walking back into plank. Make sure that your hips are in line with your head. A little bit of core work. Three, two, one. Go ahead and walk it back up to dolphin. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it down to plank, scoot belly button in, hips in line. Last for three, two, one. Go ahead and bring your knees down, shake it out. Whew. I hope you're out of breath and sweating as much as I am right now. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into our cool down. We've got two exercises for us today. First is cow face arms. So let's go ahead and bring our right arm back behind us. Choose to either press the elbow or if you have the flexibility, wrap around and grab your arm. Make sure that you don't puff your chest up. Keep, use your core, keep your chest in line. Elbow is out away from you. Gaze is at the horizon. Remember either clasping or bringing your hand to your elbow, reaching your right hand back down. And then we're ready. Let's go ahead and switch arms. Left arm. Remember, you can stay here. This is my more difficult side. Or you can reach your arm back around clasping. You can also bring a strap, a towel, a rope, something to connect you in the back if you want to get into this chest opener. Just make sure that your chin stays parallel to the ground. Elbow stays up. Chest stays in, so don't let it puff out. Use your core to do that. Breathing, and then when we're ready, whew, go ahead and shake it out. And then coming into our last one, so intense shoulder stretch. This one's gonna feel really good. So go ahead and come down onto your stomach, extending your hands out to a T. Bend your left arm, bend your left leg, twisting over your body to place that left foot on the ground. Right side of the cheek is on the ground, gently pressing into your left hand to open up your chest. Alternatively, you can bring to bend your knee down or you can work on opening up your hips in this pose. So it's an intense stretch for the right part of our arm. My, left, my right arm is out to a T. No tension in the neck. When we're ready, go ahead and roll back and let's do the other side. Extend our left, bend our right, right hand, right knee. Left side of the cheek is on the ground, extending the right arm, pressing gently into the right hand. Right foot, if it can reach, touching the ground back behind you, or you can bend the knee to open up as well, depending on your flexibility. Relax the neck, open up the left side, gently pressing into our right hand. And gently rolling back down, and then coming to press up and coming to sit into a seated position. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I recommend doing the sequence twice so that way you get um, 20 minutes of a shoulder opening and shoulder strengthening, uh, which is really good 
for any kind of inversion because you have a lot of weight onto your shoulders, so it's important to be working those muscles. Otherwise, I hope that you enjoyed this practice today. Please let me know how you liked it down in the comment section below. Otherwise, I will see you next time on the Inverted Wanderers Inverted Tip Tuesday. Bye everyone!